we are on to another clinical issue in anatomy and on this clinical issue we'll be talking about the Gardner syndrome talking about the Gardner syndrome I would like you guys to look at these pictures first before we continue in this picture we have cysts under the skin extra teeth tumors and bombs on the the bones gastrointestinal you will vomit have cramps constipation constipation diarrhea and all that tumors on growth on leg so the gardner syndrome is like a group of disorders resulting from something that's something we'll get to see okay so Going by what I have here, let me take this the screen so very much more, okay? The Gardner syndrome is a rare condition that is character, uh, characterized by multiple uh, colorectal polyps. People with Gardner syndrome have a high risk of developing colorectal cancer early in life. Though there is currently no cure, there are ways to manage the condition and reduce the risk of cancer. So, just telling us that cancer results, like you have higher risk of going down with cancer if you have Gardner syndrome. The Gardner syndrome is a type of familiar adenomatous polyposis, all right, that causes the development of multiple polyps that grow several types of cancerous or non-cancerous tumors. People with the condition have a high risk of developing other cancers, right? Including stomach cancer, pancreatic cancer, liver cancer. Gardner syndrome is a congenital condition, meaning people are born with it. Okay? You could see all those growths on the face. That's the polyps we are talking about. Polyps we are talking about. Those are the polyps we are talking about. Those are the tumors we are talking about. Now, what you should know about the Gardner syndrome, just an overview before we continue. Rare condition that occur in four to two to four out of every million people. So it's very rare. Okay. Excessive polyp growth, primarily in colon, puts you at the high risk of developing colon cancer. Symptoms include dental and skin abnormalities such as bony growth or cyst. Genetic testing is the only way to confirm a diagnosis. There is no cure, but early screening, you no, know, start managing it early. Nice, oh, see. People with Gardner syndrome have an abnormality in their APC, adenomatous polyposis coli gene. The APC is a tumor, a tumor suppressor gene that regulates cell growth and prevents cells from dividing and multiplying too quickly. Right? The Gardner syndrome is an inherited condition, congenital anomaly. People are born with it. Most people with Gardner syndrome have at least one parent who has the condition. Okay. So I don't really know. Most of this uh, sex linked stuff, parents could help with, with a lot of uh, enlightenment. Parents could help prevent these issues before they occur. Okay. So how common is the Gardner syndrome? Gardner syndrome is out is rare out of 1 million people in the USA okay 1 out of 1 million or 2 to 4 out of 1 million will be diagnosed with the last like taking a statistics picking 1 million people randomly then testing them right what are the symptoms of Gardner syndrome the most common symptom of Gardner syndrome is the development of multiple colon polyps, right? While the number of polyps can vary from person to person, 
some individuals develop hundreds of them other Gardner symptoms include see this image you see the police we're talking about see this image you came through the first time because of police on your colon you you have cramps you have constipation you have diarrhea right polyps on your face extra t2 gardner syndrome is definitely a bad boy what causes gardner syndrome gardner syndrome is caused by the mutation of the apc gene however experts still don't know what causes the gene mutation right we know that it is from a gene mutation but we don't know what causes the gene mutation okay and we can't even say it is due to uh, the medication your mom takes while while um, having you in the womb uh, we can't we can't really say that okay all we could say is one of your parents have the now have the gene okay <clears throat> how is Gardner syndrome treated as a treatment management of Gardner syndrome usually involves close monitoring to make sure that your colon polyps don't become cancerous okay you could only manage it screenings may be performed using the colonoscopy I think that's a, the, the, the instrument used in observing the colon okay the sigmoidoscopy and physical treatment physical examinations treatments can vary significantly depending on your unique situation and may include medications surgical treatments dental procedures or a combination of the methods okay surgical treatments dental procedures like correcting your teeth when you develop uh, extra teeth due to um, Gardner syndrome okay to reduce your risk of developing cancer your healthcare provider may recommend a, collect, a, a colectomy if more than 20 to 30 polyps are discovered I think colectomy is a surgery to remove part of your colon the part of the colon that is affected this procedure removes part or all of your colon okay? in some cases a protocolectomy is recommended total protocolectomy involves removal of the large intestine and most of the rectum this would definitely be bad but i think this is like the best treatment for cancer all right if you see a cancer on your tongue, I think it's best to go cut off your hand, okay? To keep on surviving because cancer sends deep roots so fast into the body and you won't even know when this root starts germinating again. And cancer is usually a bad boy. Okay, guys, so we could infer from what we have learned today that Gardner syndrome is actually a cancer. Gardner syndrome is actually cancer, all right? Could affect your face, could affect your colon, could affect your large intestine where you have polyps growing up from these areas, okay? So, love you guys. If you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed to this, our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, MBBS Niger okay mbbs niger and we got you covered on almost every uh, anatomy course physiology course about about chemistry course you would like to learn so see you guys in the next video right in the next video i've not really i'm not really certain about what i'm talking about but you know the next video gonna come true so see you guys love you guys and always uh, always study always study all right this thing we are in we don't stop it's not stop all right so see you guys in the next video and bye for now